everyone qualifies for a loan, sometimes you need a little help from a co-signer. But should you be the person who signs your name on someone else's loan? Consumer investigator Rachel DePompa weighs the pros and cons with the, heat, with the help of an expert in this watching your wallet. Co-signing on a loan can have huge implications on you when it comes to your credit score and borrowing more money. Cherry Dale, a financial coach with the Virginia Credit Union, says it's nice to have the option so you can help your children, but you want to look at what you are co-signing for and, of course, the overall risk. Because once you sign on that dotted line and you are co-signing, let's say, a car loan, a credit card, a personal loan, you are responsible for that. You are both responsible for that payment. Dale says if you are co-signing for a relative, you want to look at their credit and their past payment histories, and you want it in writing on who's paying for what. If you're late on paying that payment or people forget about it, it will impact your credit score. In fact, payment history is the number one thing that lenders do look at when it comes to your credit, overall credit score. Co-signing can also impact how much you can borrow. Let's say you are shopping for a house and you co-signed on your child's $30,000 car loan. That loan now shows up on your credit report. And when a lender looks at debt to income on what you can afford on a house, that $30,000 counts against you. So you might qualify for less home. So you really want to think through not only how co-signing affects you now, but also how it will affect your future purchases as well. With this Watching Your Wallet, I'm Rachel DePompa.